Hello guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to install IntelliJ IDEA on a Windows 11 system. We'll begin by installing the latest version of Java, which is a prerequisite for running Java applications. After that, we'll move on to downloading and setting up IntelliJ IDEA, one of the most popular IDEs for Java development. Once the installation is complete, we'll also create and run our first Java program using IntelliJ IDEA. So, let's get started with installing the latest version of Java first. Open your web browser and go to Google. In the search bar, type Oracle Java and press enter. You'll see the official Oracle website, oracle.com, appear at the top of the results. Click on that link. Once you're on the page, click the download Java button. You'll now see the available versions listed. The current version at the time of this recording is JDK 24. Scroll down to find the download options for Windows. Now, choose the .exe installer. This is the recommended option for a straightforward installation. You can also choose the MSI installer if you prefer. Click the .exe file and the download will begin. Let's wait for it to finish. The .exe file has been successfully downloaded. Right click on it and select open to begin the installation process. Click yes to allow the application. You can minimize the browser now. The Java setup window will appear. Click next to continue. Java will be installed in the default location under program files. Leave it as it is and click next again. Once the installation is complete, click close to finish. Java is now successfully installed on your system. Now, let's set up the environment variable for Java. Navigate to the installation path first open file explorer and navigate to this PC, then local disk C drive, then program files, Java, JDK 24, and then the bin folder. Once you're in the bin folder, copy the full path from the address bar. Next, go to the start menu, type environment variables and select edit the system environment variables. In the system properties window, under the advanced tab, click on environment variables. Under system variables, find and double click on the path variable. Now, click new and paste the copied path. Click OK, then again OK, and finally click OK one more time to close all windows. We've now successfully added Java to the system path. Let's verify the Java installation. Go to the start menu, type CMD and open the command prompt. In the terminal, type the command Java double dash version and press enter. If everything was installed correctly, you'll see the current Java version displayed. Great. We've successfully installed Java on Windows 11. Now, let's move on to installing IntelliJ IDEA. Open your web browser and search for IntelliJ IDEA on Google, then press enter. The official website for IntelliJ IDEA is jetbrains.com. Click on the link when it appears. Once you're on the site, you'll see a download button. Click on it to proceed. IntelliJ IDEA offers two editions. The Ultimate Edition, which comes with a 30-day trial and requires payment afterward, and the Community Edition, which is completely free and open source. We'll be downloading the Community Edition. Scroll down, you will find Community Edition and click the download button under the free version. It will start downloading and it will take some time depending on your internet speed. Once the download is complete, right click on EXE file and select open to start the installation process. When the setup starts, click next to proceed. IntelliJ IDEA will be installed in the default location, usually under program files. Keep the default path and click next. On the next screen, check the box to create a desktop shortcut and leave the rest of the options as they are. Click Next, then click Install to begin the installation. The setup will now install IntelliJ IDEA and create a shortcut on your desktop. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. 
we have now successfully installed IntelliJ IDEA on Windows. You'll find the IntelliJ shortcut on your desktop. Double click on it to launch the application. When opening IntelliJ for the first time, you'll be prompted to accept the terms and conditions. Check the box and click continue. Next, you'll see a window related to data sharing. Choose don't send to skip sending usage data. After that, you'll come across an import settings window. Simply select skip to proceed without importing any previous settings. On the project screen, you have the option to create a new project right away, but let's take a moment to explore some customization settings first. You can change the overall theme here. I'll stick with the default dark theme. Additionally, if you prefer, you can adjust the IDE's font size and change the language settings to better suit your preferences. Now, click on Projects and then New Project. Let's give our project a name. I'll name it Bike Geek. It will be saved in the default location shown below the name field. IntelliJ IDEA has automatically detected the Java version we installed earlier, and it's already selected, so we'll leave it as it is. Click Create to proceed. The default project structure is now set up. Let's create our first Java file. Navigate to the SRC folder, right click, choose new, and then choose Java class. I'll name it demo, press enter. Now I will write a simple program to print hello world. After writing the code, go to the file menu and select save to save your Java file. Next, we'll run the code. If you're running it for the first time, you might not see the run button yet. To configure the run settings, go to the top of the IntelliJ window and click on current file. Then select edit configurations. A new pop-up window will appear. Click the plus icon in the top left corner and then choose application. You can give this configuration a name, for example, Java program. In the build and run section, find the main class field, type main, and then select the appropriate suggestion for your main class. Once everything is set, click OK to save the configuration. Now you'll notice that the run button has appeared at the top. Click it to run your code and you'll see the output appear, confirming that your program executed successfully. And that's it. We have successfully installed Java, setting up IntelliJ IDEA and running a Java program step by step. Now you're all set to start your Java development journey. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.